forgot to show you guys my favorite thing I got this week is no flame, no smoke, no soot um, from Aldi's, the uh, fun spot, Huntington Home Fragrance Warmer. This is only $4.99. It is really, really nice. Let me show you guys how it looks. It's really heavy, like really nice glass. It's made out of really, really beautiful glass and it actually lights up also. You can replace the light in it. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like plugged in, but $4.99, I would definitely hit an Aldi. He's and get that. You could put wax or oil in it. It's so cool. Hi guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Um, thank you for joining me today. Before I get, I have a really awesome Dollar Tree haul and I'm really eager to get into it. I actually have two Dollar Tree, two stores, a whole lot of stuff, and I really wanted to, um, show you guys this stuff yesterday. Like I was saying, my camera got all filled up and I had to upload my video of a Miss A haul that is pretty exciting. So if you guys have never ordered anything from Miss A, please do um, watch my last posted video. It's pretty, really great stuff. I'm, I already placed an order. So yeah, I'm really excited about finding a new place to shop. They're so inexpensive. And although they don't always have everything that's shown on the website, they're really fun to look at. Um, so tonight before I do the haul, I just wanna really quickly let people know um, if there are some subscribers of my channel out there who also are, are viewers, you know, people watch my channel and may not necessarily be subscribers, um, that I, was really devastated today to find out that Sherry Keto Twisted Gypsy, who is another YouTuber um, that does daily hauls and is very dedicated to her channel and her um, subscribers, is in the hospital and has pneumonia and COVID. And I am really sad to hear that. I'm very, I, my, you know, my thoughts have been with her all day. I feel like crying, honestly, because I just spent, you know, I, I cry very easily. <laughs> but um, I spent a lot of original quarantine in New York State watching people haul stuff from the Dollar Tree. And I just almost felt like in some way they're invincible. But I just want to send my prayers thoughts and prayers out to her and her family. And, you know, for anybody out there that doesn't know what's going on with her, I just wanted to let you know if you would like to send her thoughts and prayers because she probably could use them. And um, I hope to see her back on her channel very soon in her car, hauling awesome stuff from the Walmart parking lot. Anyway, <laughs> ah. I just... It's just so real, you know, when when something like this happens to someone that you watch every day, vibrant and, um, you know, just makes it so real. So I just thought that maybe people out there don't know and they should know because the more people that are sending positive, loving thoughts towards her, the better off she is. There can't be anything wrong with sending her positive, loving thoughts. Anyway, so before I make everybody depressed, I'm going to share my haul with you guys because, <laughs> you know, that's not what this is for. But sometimes people have to break out of the mold and let other people know that there is something going on that they could be a part of. And, you know, if you do know who she is, please go to her channel and send her love. She needs it. I think her family needs it. The support of, you know, the community that she has invested so much of her time every day to. And, um, yeah, that's all. Anyway, um, I'm sure that, you know, sh she'll be happy to know that other people are out there sending her love. And speaking of love, I finally found a wish list item. 
not that that was a good segue, but I actually just saw it and was like, okay. Um, this is an item that was on my wish list. Honestly, um, I know that someone is giving me one because a, a, my friend from Gretchen's One DIY at a time bought me one. But, you know, what are you going to do? Be like, uh, can you get me three? Um, so I didn't say that. But really, I kind of wanted three because I like to have things in threes. One, if I screw it up. One, if I really love it. And then one, if I make something so awesome out of it that somebody else might want it. And I just kind of feel like this is in that category because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I really feel like it could be gifted. Something awesome could be made out of this. So, or nothing even. I don't know. It could be nothing. It could be something. I actually kind of like the idea of getting wicker baskets and putting all of... Oh, wow. That's what I think I'm going to do. I just want to tie these onto big square wicker baskets and put things inside of it that I love, like my bedding. I love bedding. Yeah, in my linen closet that I don't have, but I will have when I move out of this house. Um, I actually do have um, like linen storage with buckets, but they're uh, sort of smushy so that I can just squeeze them into a small space. But in the linen closet that I dream of having in the very near future, um, I have mesh wooden type baskets. And I think these would be awesome on the baskets or any basket. You could just put this on a basket and attach it with like nautical rope. And it just, I love the word love. So yeah, these are awesome. I'm so happy that I have them. And uh, I was just so happy to find those finally. I, I was like, oh, I can't believe that. The fact that I never found those really started to make me wonder what in the heck is going on with my Dollar Tree. But I realize now that my Dollar Tree is like sometimes months, months, months behind and sometimes way in advance because of the cool stuff that I'm about to show you guys. So now I literally bought this stuff maybe like around almost a, like five, five days ago, four days ago. So I bought the placemats. I bought four of these and I think this one might be my favorite, but it doesn't actually go with the set of dishes that I bought. I don't know if you guys know the dishes that I bought, but they're the white ones with the holly berries and they're just really beautiful. Not poinsettias, but holly berries around them. And they're white and green and red. Very simple, very classic. But I love this, these placemats the most out of all of them. I feel like these look like this is like a round, red-cheeked, old-fashioned type of Santa, rich burgundy reds. I, I love the shape of the trees. I love everything about this scene with the gifts. But... Even though I love those the best, they kind of don't go with my plates. And I ended up buying four of everything. Because I figure, I, I've told you guys, I can't make up my mind. There's like something really wrong with me. When I want something for me, when I want something for other people, there's no question. I get everything. Um, it doesn't matter. When I want something for me, and I know that I can't decide and that I go home and that I might regret my decision, I almost feel like I have to choose everything because I don't want to have to look for it. Look, you know, what's going to happen with when these sell out? I'm not going to find them again. So I bought all of them and I'm going to insert a photo of the dishes that I bought. And unless, you know, you guys remember... And maybe you guys can also tell me what you guys think. Because I did buy the white and holly ones that go with the plates that are like polyester and much easier to clean. And But they're kind of cheaper looking. And I feel like these are supposed to be nicer. But I'm having a hard time deciding if I just don't like them or if I don't like them with my plates. I can't decide because everybody's obsessed with these. So I don't know. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. But... The white simple ones with the green holly berries that I bought and I was thrilled to have them. They look perfect with my plates, but everybody's like going crazy over these. So I was like, if everybody's going crazy over them, then maybe I'm not seeing something or 
maybe I could just use them somewhere else in my house. I don't know. But you guys let me know what you think. I did get these. I do sort of love these. And the funny thing is, I think that these are the ones that are loved the least. I don't think anybody likes these but me. I don't know what is wrong with me when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I just like, I, I, I kind of agree with Erica Fuller. I watched her walk through and she said, ah, I'm going to pass on these. They're not made that well. But I see that everybody loves them and is going crazy over them. So I'm like, am I crazy or is everybody else crazy? What's the deal? Who's crazy? I mean, they are like really just. But they are real fabric and they do have that. I mean, those, the first Santa ones, they don't look cheap. I don't think these do kind of look cheap, cheesy the way that they're hemmed. They don't have a lining on the other side, which I think adds to that whole issue. But I do think that these perhaps might match my dishes. I don't know. I don't know. I think the first set that I bought matches my dishes best. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. But I could gift them. I could gift them. I could do a contest. I don't know. I don't know. But I know people really want these. And I want to be sure that I don't want. I could always give them to the shelter. I don't know. They could put them on their little tables. They don't have huge tables in their studios. They're probably small little eating areas. This could be like a mini like setting on their table or something. There's this one that everybody's crazy about this one. I thought about putting this on the front of a wicker basket and putting my tree in it actually because I have a big galvanized metal one, but I don't think I'm going to put an enormous tree up this year because it's going to be a more happy but solemn Christmas. I won't have a ton of guests over so I don't need a huge tree and that's always a hassle I have to move everything in the house around to do that um so these are honestly the trees in this are beautiful also and the snowman's beautiful and the red truck is beautiful these are pr this one is pretty gorgeous I have to admit I do really like it it doesn't go with my plates I don't think it would go with plain white plates or plate I don't know I don't know. I can't, I just can't. I'm usually not. I mean, I am. I am. Honestly, I am indecisive. I really am. It's the worst. I just like to have everything or nothing. <laughs> That's just the way I am. But you can't have every placemat, even though I kind of do have every placemat right now. But by the end of all of it, I'll probably have no placemats. I'll be like, you know what? I'm over all of it. I don't want any of it. Just give it all away. Take it. Every, take everything. And I'm ashamed to say that I think I, I like these maybe the most. And these are the ones that I think nobody wants. There were like the whole entire stack was just, wow, they're so irregular too. They're like, ay, ay, ay. It's like you're growing zucchini and have to measure like which one is the biggest. They, they're not even remotely the same size. You guys see that? I just line them up at the top. And not one of them is the same size at the bottom. But regardless, I kind of love these. I feel like they're so cheesy, but I love them. I just can't decide. So I'm going to insert a picture of the dinner, Christmas dinner settings that I got. And if you guys remember, let me know which one you would choose or if you would choose none. <laughs> was my dilemma of my placemats. And it's been crazy raining. The weather has been just horrific. Constant miserable weather in New York. Um, yeah, I'm going to do candy and food all together. So I did pick up um, a couple of bags of snack mix. And it says peanut butter filled shapes with peanuts and pretzels. And this one says peanut butter filled shapes with peanuts and pretzels. And I have to be honest, when I first saw these, I was like, oh, okay, I'll get both kind. There's not both kind, it's one kind, two kinds of packages. So this one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer official licensed products, product by Palmer. And so is this, and it's just two different pictures, same product. Either way, peanuts, pretzels, and chocolate, my son's going to love these, so these are going in stocking stuffers, like in his stockings. And um, I did pick up 
a pack of the uh, Baker's Choice English Muffins. Love these. I actually picked up two packs and one is already half done in the refrigerator. We had them this morning for breakfast and I'm just so happy when I find these. I really love them. I did find a couple of wish list items. Um, the Pampa Shortbread Cookies by, oh yeah, by Pampa, what does it say? Cookies, artificially flavored. I have to really say that when it comes to shortbread cookies, I'm very picky and there was a shortbread cookie that the Dollar Tree sold one year that was amazing. I remember I gave it out at the shelter and everybody went crazy over them. And when I tasted them, I was like, oh my God, please, somebody save me a pack of those. I have to find them again. And I never found them again. I don't think these are them, but um, I'm going to actually have my son and my husband do like a blind taste study. I bought Lorna Dunes also at the Dollar Tree, but they're in my next haul because they didn't have them at the Dollar Tree that I found these in. I'm curious to see because I know what the shape of the cookie is, so it wouldn't work. But I don't I don't think that they really taste like real honest to goodness shortbread cookies. But we're going to find out because for cheap shortbread cookies, Lorna Dunes are kind of delectable. And the like average cheap supermarket version of shortbread cookies standard so I think that we're going to do a blind taste study uh, where I'm going to make them not look. I'm going to put the cookies in a plate and mark underneath, and then they're going to tell me which ones they like. So we'll know for once and for all if these are worth the dollar because you can actually get Lorna Dunes. I think you get two less, six ounce. I think, that, yeah, I think you get like maybe two less in the Lorna Dunes, but you get a really delicious, actually short shortbread tasting or close to shortbread tasting cookie. So we're going to find out right after this video. I'll probably post that video because I'm going to do it right after this. Another item that I picked up that I don't know where the other box. I actually bought two boxes of these. Um, these are amazing. I think the other box is gone because they're amazing. And I even have another box in my next haul from the other store because they're, they taste like, okay, they do not taste like a Milano. They look like a Milano uh, and it says thin shortbread. And I have to admit, I love shortbread. So anything that says shortbread, I'm all in for, but they they don't taste like they they don't taste like Milano's. They don't taste like shortbread, but they do taste really good. Um, I actually had left the house and I went and I went to the first Dollar Tree and was I was supposed to get coffee, but I actually left my house to go get coffee. And then the next thing you know, I was at the Dollar Tree, hadn't even had morning coffee yet. My husband was like calling me and I was like, ah. Uh, I can't even answer him right now. He's going to kill me because while I was driving, I literally live right next to Dollar Tree. So while I was driving past Dollar Tree and I had every intention of going in later in the day, I drove past Dollar Tree and I saw a lady leaving with the rugs and I, a, a lady leaving with a rug. Let me um, reiterate that a holiday rug. And it wasn't even on the front side. It was on the back side of it. But I was like, I know that anywhere. Those are not the gray ones that they have year round. Those are the holiday rugs. And I know they didn't have any Thanksgiving ones left. So those have to be the Christmas ones. So I immediately pulled in and I was like starving and thirsty. I was going to get us like breakfast and some coffee um, or something from Dunkin' Donuts as a treat because I'm sick of doing dishes and cooking all the time and my son goes to school in the living room and I just don't get a, I don't get a moment of silence in my house. So my husband started calling me and I was like, I can't answer right now. I'm not explaining myself. So then I just texted and I was like, oh, I'm getting something from the Dollar Tree. And he was like, oh God. So that his response was, oh God. And I was like, no, no, I won't be long. And I, I wasn't, but 
I wasn't quick either. So I, on the way back after I bought us coffee and they had, they sent me a message saying that they had eaten something, but I still got coffee. I decided to eat one of these in the car. And then when I brought them in, my son ate some and the other box is gone. So when I went to the next Dollar Tree a little while later, because I needed more rugs and I was like, oh, they must be in town. Um, I picked up more of these, but Needless to say, they're really delicious. They're not like mushy and have that delicious airy light consistency of a Milano. They do not. They do have dark chocolate in the middle and they have like a hard crunchy cookie. It's not buttery. It's not short bready. It's just, um, but it's good. It's just not what you think it is. Package. There are six two packs. So each little silver, pretty cute pack has two cookies in it. And there are six like that in here. I think that that's a really great buy for a dollar. And they you could throw them in your pocketbook if you get hungry and you're taking a drive somewhere. And they're not like, you know, your typical snack cookie. These are just really nice. I really like, I really love, I really love that the Dollar Tree has those. I'm sure they're not going to always have them. So stock up now and enjoy them while you can. The next item that I picked up is the Morena Pure Cane Sugar. All natural, great taste, great for baking. Two pounds. I actually picked up four bags of this because I don't have any sugar in my house. Um, and I just sort of wanted to stock up for the winter. That should be plenty for a long time. We don't, we don't really use a ton of sugar, but I really like this sugar. It's non-GMO. It's bone and char free. It's not bleached like some other sugars that are refined. Um, I just, yeah, I, I, it says certified clean and it's by the brand called Zolka. And most Dollar Tree people know to get this sugar. It's really awesome. If you haven't tried it yet, try it. It's not brown sugar. It's just clean, not refined bleach sugar. It's awesome. So the next item that I picked up is one of these four packs of Ellie's Everything Bagels, boiled and hearth baked. And they do have to be toasted. I don't know. They're, they have like a strange consistency. They're not what you'd expect them to be like either. But once you toast these, they're awesome for a dollar. And I definitely enjoy them. I pick up. Actually, I got a lot of these that day um, because I hadn't seen them in my Dollar Tree. And I thought that they were awesome. I picked up 10 of each to put in. So like 20 altogether to put in um, gift baskets. But then I heard Erica Fuller on um, Erica Fuller's channel say that these taste like Robitussin. And I was so devastated because I believe her. And she tasted these and she said, eh, they're Palmer, but they're not bad. So that means that's not bad. And I should, I wonder if they'll exchange food items for me that I haven't opened. I should just take these back and get the ch chocolate ones because if they taste like Robitussin, I don't want to give them to people, but they are so cute though that, you know, maybe people would just like to have them to display or, I mean, I bought 10 of them. That's kind of a lot to just go in the garbage, but they are really cute. And if anybody out there wants to like DIY with them or use them for decor, you can, but from what I understand, they don't taste awesome. If anybody else has tried them and likes them, let me know. But I don't really use, I was just buying them to gift them. And uh, yeah, I was buying them to gift them for like the hot chocolate baskets. But I almost feel like making people hot chocolate baskets are not even cool anymore. Because everywhere I look on Facebook, everyone is buying those like $4 each hot chocolate bombs that like these people are making out of those sphere you know those blue things that everyone is hauling now that I would I wouldn't even know where to begin making those things so I can't even attempt it but they're buying those sphere uh, molds and they're filling them somehow with the chocolate and then sprinkles and marshmallows inside and it's like a bomb and you melt it in your hot milk and it becomes hot chocolate 
ha- have any has anybody else has anybody bought them off I mean like I wouldn't buy food off of people on Facebook marketplace but it's like on all those dollar tree like DIYs and crafting sites people are crafting um th- they're crafting hot cocoa bombs it's like a thing now and it's all over Etsy like hot chocolate bombs, like everywhere I turn, it's like a new thing that I had never heard of. Has anybody else heard of this? Or is it like, does my like Facebook app know like, oh, she'll try anything. She'll buy this, send it to her, send it to her. That could be it. Or maybe because I was talking about hot chocolate after I bought these and I was like, oh man, she said that they suck. I'm so upset. I bought 10 boxes. Maybe my phone heard me and big brother was like, send her messages about these hot chocolate bombs because she'll buy them, which I probably it will end up before this season. No, maybe not. I won't. I don't, I don't think I will. If they sell it, if I see it in like a department store, I'll pick them up, but I'm not going to order hot cocoa bombs from someone's kitchen. Nope. Not going to do that as much as I would love to. Can't say that I could <laughs> a new thing and it's really popular. And let me know if you guys have heard of, of it. And not a food, this is not a food item, but still an exciting item because it means less pots and pans. But these, these are actually kind of awesome. I, whenever I see these, I get them. They're really like hardcore sturdy. You could like roast a chicken in this pan and not worry that it's going to bend or anything. And if you cook something in it that's not really messy, you could kind of reuse it a couple of times because they're very heavy duty. Like if I throw toast or something simple in there and I just rinse it out I can use it again so yeah they are by Greenbrier which I didn't realize they were by Greenbrier but they're really great for a dollar this is the kind of throwaway pan that is like seven dollars at my supermarket and I would never pay that I have uh, one more food item to share with you guys and it is a peppermint candy cup it's artificially flavored but it has a different texture than the candy cane spoons, and it's not made by the same company. This one is made by, made by B International, so these are not a Greenbrier product, and they're like basically like a candy cane shot glass. It says to lick it and take a, you know, peppermint schnapps or whatever you're drinking. But my thoughts are to get, okay, so there's more to the story here. So I, I drop stuff on the floor. I did get three wish list items because I've seen these and I really wanted them. Well, I really wanted them for the boys and I'll join in because I bought three because it'll fit my little plan. But so these Batman mugs I thought would be fun for like stocking stuffers because my ki- my my kids, my husband and my son love Batman. And of course, Mommy had to get one too because she likes to join in their fun sometimes, but it also works with my whole peppermint idea. So these cups fit in here. And so my idea was I'm going to make my own um, cocoa, hot cocoa bomb peppermint idea in this cup because these cups are awesome. They're so cute. I can boil the milk. Get the hot cocoa already. You can even use real hot, you could use hot milk and real chocolate. And then drop the cup, the peppermint cup into the thing, put everything in there and then mix it around. And as you're drinking it, you'll get the, the peppermint will melt and it will be probably delicious. So yeah, this is kind of like the sober peppermint, hot chocolate version of like an Irish car bomb (laughs) that you drop in to your drink and it like explodes. So yeah, so this is my version of the hot cocoa bomb, but I'm not ordering anything out of someone's house and getting surprises that come out of, nope, not doing that. So I'm going to do my own surprise. But yeah, so I thought that might be fun to do like Christmas Eve you know, whatever. I think they'll like it and it'll be like a little stocking stuffer that I make for the boys and myself and then I'll just make it. It's cute, right? It's a cute idea. I mean, they won't know what to do with it, but I'll just do it. And I think it's going to work. 
because I definitely, I mean, I was like a bartender for a lot of years and I owned a bar. So if there's one thing I know how to do is make a very good beverage, hot or cold. So that's going to be delicious. And so that's enough about that whole hot chocolate fiasco. And, and that's that. I mean, I, all I need is one really delicious hot chocolate a year and I'm good. I did pick up four cans of disinfectant spray. Um, I actually saw them and was like, you know what? I should buy some for myself and um, some of my friends because all the other ones that I've gotten, I got for the shelter, but I'm starting to use my uh, Lysol more and more. I still have real Lysol, but I'm going to use these from now on in the car and stuff. And so I picked up four for my own house and they smell really good. This one smells like old fashioned Lysol and this one smells nice floral. It's great. Who cares? It's Lysol. That's when you see the 99.9% .9 of germs killed, you don't care. It works in 10 minutes. I'm great with that. Thank you. I will take it. I did pick up a couple of the super glue wood glue, the original super glue wood glue. It's a two fluent ounce package. This wood glue works amazing. It really does. It works better than any wood glue. I think it works better than Gorilla wood glue, even much better. And I'm going to be doing a DIY, I think, of some clothespins where you make them into snowflakes because I, I think everybody in the world knows how to make those. But I'll still show you guys if you're interested because I like making them. So my dog is here. If you guys want to see the puppy, he's a lot smaller than I thought he was going to be. Say hi. Say hi. Look. Say hi, puppy. Can you say hi? And I did get him this gigantic thing because the lady who helped us get him she gifted him one and my uh, my dog destroyed it so i had to go and get him his favorite toy again and it is a extra plush dog toy his name is maximilian in case you guys wanted to know this is one of the sweaters that i had um bought to cut into some clothing which i still have plenty of sweater left but he's always chilly and all the clothing that i bought him was way too big so i he is so cute isn't he so i had to make him an emergency sweater out of my gnome gear so he's kind of like my dog gnome you're my puppy gnome yeah so now that i've pulled out all the stuff tonight <laughs> very eventful hole, I guess. Um, I'm going to put him down. How did you get out? Are you like Houdini? Oh, it's going out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you follow my channel? Um, you know that I hold this and I had hold a vintage looking Santa, but I really wanted, um, and Santa is actually driving a red truck, but it's kind of like a a brand new, not vintage, whatever it is, it's really cute. I like the Santa's face, it's very vintage looking. These are so, so cute. And I'm gonna put them in the planters outside of my house. I love anything that has to do with the camper. It makes me crazy happy. Together, they look awesome. So the Santa that I hold, uh, this is the camper that I hold. I didn't buy it a second time. Just the Santa that I hold, I'll give to the shelter back to these mugs these mugs are by zach they're a brand name and they're originally from target that's a target brand so there are a lot of things lately in the dollar tree from target which is pretty exciting who knows what's next and then i have bought a couple of wine bottle bags i've actually already gifted them to people but this one in specific i love because i I have not been giving people wine or pup pup be good pup pup i've been giving people um stuff in wine bags but I, I hold a different one and i didn't put wine or alcohol in it i put a bottle of rubbing alcohol in it some face masks some lysol some uh oh a spray bottle for them to put the rubbing alcohol in so it was like pretty awesome. It's my like pun. 
And um, I thought this would be good for the same thing, but even more so because this little one, I can put the hand sanitizer in. You know, the little bottles of hand sanitizer can go in here, put it in the bag. And I just thought it would be fun and cute. And you know, you pull it closed from the strings. Where are they? Oh yeah, you tie it closed from the strings, like a drawstring, and there's a bottle of alcohol in here and one of those pretty, you know, metallic colored spray bottles. And just, it's like a whole sanitize. It's like keeping spirits bright, but in a whole new way. Oh, he's happily playing with that thing now. He loves that thing so much. I have to keep Mabel away from it. I should have bought a lot of those. What was I thinking? I did get six of these because I have crazy allergies and this is good stuff for, I actually do take a lot of different types of allergy medicine, but you have to change them up. up. So um, it's maximum strength, 1.5 fluent ounce, up to 12 hours of relief, nasal spray, Afrin, uh, original nasal spray. Um, it's good until March of 2022. I think it's a great deal. My allergies are through the roof. So I picked up six and sadly I will use these. <laughs> I will use every one of them. And so I stocked up for a long time with that. Um, I did get one of these because I love it. I think it's so awesome. It is seriously a very cute hat. That's not, yeah. It's a really cute Santa hat. It's, it doesn't fit my head. I just, maybe, I don't know. It, I have to, I have a very huge face and head, so it does not fit my head. Okay, that sucks. Okay, well, I can give it away. I'm, I guess I can make a gnome out of it because it does not fit my head. All right. Gnome it is. Oh, this is going to be a cute gnome. I'm sure everybody and their mother has made a gnome out of this already. Yeah, it's like, it basically already is a gnome. I in size. I should have checked. It's so nice. And the fabric of the hat is really nice too. Surprisingly nicer than any other buffalo check I've ever seen in the Dollar Tree. It's like, like a real flannel shirt. Rats. I'm so sad that did not fit. I picked up a case of these because they had a ton. There's three different styles. In It's a pinball game. Just fun stocking stuffers because I love these. I always get them. I actually think that these are super fun, silly little games for kids to play. And, you know, they work. And they're, they're, they're awesome for a dollar. They have the Santa with the penguin and the reindeer really cute and the tree and it says ho 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 and then this one doesn't say anything just in really huge letters it says green briar over there but um it just has santa with lollipops and the penguin super cute too yes it says winter wishes and is white and it's really cute, actually. This one, I think, is... I don't know. I don't have a favorite. But I think kids love these. They're really fun. And I picked up a case. I think there's 24 in the case or 26. So two of these. I've already used one. I did do an awesome wreath DIY. I took six of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees and made them into a giant snowflake wreath that is really big. It's a substantial wreath. And I used one pack of these to put in, I just love this sound, one pack of these to put on the wreath. I didn't know how many I was going to use, but I feel like I'll find something to do with these or I'll hang them in my tree because I think they're just really beautiful. I love, love jingle bells. Love them. Section along where I got my dog stuffy, I found this catnip grown in North America, cork, Nip discs, compressed catnip, 
six packs and I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that it's a six pack you know you put it inside of the cat toys um when they aren't that catnipish anymore but i have bought these from actual pet stores in the past and they just are great because they don't make a mess pup pup where are you what it is is it just has these six little catnip discs inside you can smell it but my cat loves them and it just doesn't make as much of a mess but it still makes him really crazy he, and he really loves these so i've bought them before and i was really they're like seven dollars at the pet store so these were a dollar i was super excited about getting that for sure Dang. tons and tons of oils but I did rebuy one of the eucalyptus and one of the lavender oils because I feel like these are the most, um, I don't want to say essential oils. Well, these are essential oils normally, and I think that they have the least amount maybe of mixer oil in them or whatever that's called because they smell the strongest and have the best throw so far of the Dollar Tree ones. So I wanted to stock up fully on them. And I picked up I picked up one of each more. I do have like a ton at this point. But I feel like you can never have enough of them. You can put them in your laundry, on your linens, everywhere. And it's nice to have them. You can put them in a spray bottle, spray them into the air. I just love them. But I did show this in my last video also. This is the Aldi's Fun Spot item of the week it's $4.99 it's a fragrance warmer it's really really beautiful um can't believe I didn't buy more of these when I saw this it was a no-brainer what I can't believe I didn't do is that I didn't buy a lot more of them but the truth is I have bought the diffusers and I can just give the diffusers as gifts but for $4.99 this is a lovely gift I should have bought a few and stocked up for future gifts like birthdays or whatever because or even at the shelter it's nice to have I should have bought more of these that's the bottom line I, I've been so excited because I plan to put these in my bathroom for my cotton balls and you know the typical thing that everybody does with them but I have they had these jars before and for some crazy reason, I never found them with the lids on them. So I was like, I am determined this time to get them because I really want them. And so these are going to be, I bought three of them. I'm going to have my major wish list item off the list. I'm sad to say that I bought all four, but um, I really wanted these. So... I'm probably going to get, I really want all four of them, but I feel like I should share with someone, but I, I could, I could maybe gift one. They are amazing. They're made really, really nicely. I can't, honestly, I can't believe this is a dollar. They're wood, but they're made way better than, they're really made so much. I can't pull that. Usually I could just break anything apart that's made of wood from the Dollar Tree. And I could so easily take out the light thing, which is the only thing that kind of bothers me. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna get this out and replace it with one that goes on with a timer. But it is so nice. It just, it it's really beautiful. I am really impressed with the Dollar Tree and how nice this looks and how very country Christmas it is. I almost want to put a wreath in the middle and hang them off of jute garland. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I wish I had more of them, but I can alternate them and put a wreath. Yeah, I think I might do that. They're so nice. They're a lot smaller than they, like, I don't know, when people show things, it's like, whoa, and you're like, wow, that's humongous. And then when you find it you're like wow that's really little it's it's like two and a half inches tall um i wonder if it says it does not but one 
two, uh, maybe three, maybe three inches tall. But I don't know why I thought it was like five or six inches tall. And I, I, when I saw it, I was like, that's not what I'm looking for. And then I was like, wait a minute, that is what I've been looking for. Is that what I'm, it's called an LED unfinished light. So they're not considering it an ornament. Wow, I dropped it and it didn't break. So that right there is a testament. Usually anything made at the Dollar Tree of wood, if you drop it, cause I know, cause I drop everything, they don't survive. You'll be gluing them with the super wood glue that I buy constantly cause I drop everything. Um, I did get my teeny tiny puppy another one of these because I did buy it and I don't know what in the world I did with it. So uh, I hold another one because he's so little that he needs the extra small cat collar. <laughs> That's how little that puppy is. Really, he's so precious. Did everybody buy this and I just didn't get one? But it didn't have a price on it. I brought it to the register. They rang up something else for it. But it's like the best squishy I've ever found in my life. And I think my son's going to love it because it's so like emo looking. So I'm going to give it to him to, for Halloween in his Halloween bag. I think he'll get a kick out of that. And then I did pick up a package of these buttons because um, the gingerbread men that I bought, they're going to need some upcycling. So I thought they might need some button eyes or buttons. Okay. I have a few more items and they're really awesome ones. I did pick up these two ornaments. They're actually really beautiful. I love the color blue that they are. They're just so icy and icy. And I love the idea because I plan to make felt snowflake and black outdoor pillows for after Christmas through January and February until around Valentine's Day. So, um, because no one actually sits on those, definitely no one's gonna be sitting on them in January. It's cold over here. But um, I think it'll pillows look even better. And I really, really love them. And this part will be really easy to break off. So yeah, I am i can't wait to make those pillows. Those I've decided for sure on. It's the other ones that I have a bag full of felt and pillows and everything. I did find this one hard candy palette and it is not dipped in gold. It is Earthy Vixen 1444. Has everybody else found these and I didn't realize it? <laughs> because I've never found this. Um, a really nice palette also has really gorgeous colors like greens and yellows. This palette was like, it's beautiful. I only found one. And I kind of don't want to open it because I feel like it would make a great gift. But I also feel like these colors would be really nice on me. So it's going to be a hard decision to make on that one. I don't, I don't. I already know that I would love that eyeshadow and that eyeshadow and that eyeshadow and that one and that one. And sometimes even the yellow one and maybe even the green one. I kind of for sure know that I would love that all the time. I love, I love eyeshadows that are frosty metallic. Um, it's a gorgeous palette and I wish I had found 20. That's all I have to say. Next time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm going to get 20 of these. You guys will see. I'll get them. <laughs> they could be like from a year ago. I don't. I didn't know that that one even existed. It looks like the dipped in gold because it's metallic, but this one is rose gold coppery. It's like a copper color. It's not gold. It's, and it's funny too, because one four, 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 four is my lucky number. 44s are like my lucky numbers. So maybe it's coming. And last, is this last? It is last. Last but not least, guys, um, so like I started telling you guys in the beginning, I saw this lady walking out and I saw this in her hand and she was like walking out with it in her hand and I was like, oh, they have the rugs. So I went in and they had hardly anything left. There were like seven rugs left. 
so I bought seven rugs because because I just did <laughs> because I need like 75 rugs for the shelter I would like to get 80 because I would like to have some for myself but I need at least 75 for the shelter because I think that these would be beautiful in the shelter and just can do you guys see like this is probably my favorite I love it I just love this it's so nice So last but not least, like I said, I saw that lady walking out of the Dollar Tree and I saw the back of her thing and I was like, oh, the rugs are in. And when I walked in, there were seven left. It seemed like every cart was full of them. And um, I was like, are there more in the back? And the lady, she actually knows that I, I run, for, you know, a nonprofit and that during the holidays, I'm always scouring to get really nice things for as little money as I possibly can because we don't get a lot of donations. And um, she was like, oh, you want the rugs, don't you? And I was like, oh, my God, are you telling me this is all that's left? And she was like, I think so. And I, I thought I was going to honestly, I thought I was going to cry. Because I was hoping to at least get like 30, but I really need, I really need like 75. Because if I don't have 75, people are going to fight. And I don't want people fighting on Christmas. So she was like, we don't have any more. But she has my number because I do like place orders and stuff. I mean, she has my number. I place orders and stuff. And I've been shopping there forever. So she was like, let me see if there's anything, anything I can do to maybe, you know, get more from another store or whatever. And they never do that. Like never. But they really, I'm really blessed in that area. Like people really want to help the population that I'm working with. And the people that I work with are the people that really, you know, they have to leave their homes and leave everything behind just to be safe. So they deserve the rugs. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So I took all seven and I don't feel bad about it. And I, I did get the next day 36 more. So now I have 40, 36 and seven is 42, right? Yeah. So I have 42. Until I get at least 75, I'm not keeping any for myself or maybe one. I really want, I want this one. I only got, I only have one of this which means that I'm assuming everybody loves this one because I literally have only seen one of these and I have 42 of them so far. So I guess I'll just keep this one for myself because I don't want everyone fighting over this one. And I just, I actually love this one. It's so classic and perfect. But if I do get a chance to get a lot of them, I would like to have more than one because I would like to have one by the camper and one by the front door and I even did haul um these red squares from like the pet department because I wanted to layer my rug well this would look super cute on top of the red um squares so if I only have one and I get to give all the rest away I'm okay with that it's fine but I love that green one and that one is going to be mine because there's only one it was meant for me and then I did get um, in this haul, I have two of the red truck one and, uh, people are going to love it. And I have to say that definitely nice. This, there's snow on the ground. The wheels are covered in a little snow. It's cute. It's very cute for sure. The women are going to really appreciate this in the winter when they're coming into their room and they're, they have like snow on their boots and they won't have to make their room a pigsty. And it's nice to have something like this and not have to pay for it. And I love this one. I think it's so cute. The Santa Stop Here one. Very cute. Kids are going to love this one. In this haul, I have two of these. I would have liked to have had to keep one of those. But I, we'll see. Maybe I'll find an abundance of them. And kids are good. This is my favorite one for kids. I would like to buy a ton of these because the kids, this is the kind that the kids will love the most. This one is super cute. And this would be cute in a bathroom. I mean, I just assume that everybody's bathroom is blue or because 
there's water in there. You can use blue. I just, this makes me feel like water bathroomy and it would be cute in a bathroom. But if I had a lot of these, I would put this in my bathroom is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I love them. I think they're even nicer than the Thanksgiving ones. They're more grippy. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of them and I'm just thinking that, but I really love them. They're amazing. And I'm so grateful that I have as many as I already have. I hope to get a lot more. I feel like there'll be a lot of them because it's not even, it's not even November yet. November is going to be in a few days and already Dollar Tree has like sold out of all their Christmas stuff. This is sooner than ever before. I don't remember it being this early. So I feel like there's going to be like a second wave of holiday decor this year. I'm predicting that for sure. I really think that people are going to be like, whoa, what happened to the Christmas stuff? And Dollar Tree is going to be like, whoa, we really jumped the gun this year. Am I crazy or do you guys think that too? Because there are so many people like, looking for things to do that they put the stuff out earlier, but they do always have a lot left over and they end up keeping it in their warehouses. So I feel like there's going to be a second surge of more holiday decor. So I just have this feeling that I'm going to be able to get all the rugs I need and then some, and no one's going to need for them because there's going to be, there's just going to be sitting on the shelves. People are going to be sick of them. That's what's going to happen. Or at least I'd like to think so. What do you guys think? So, that's in this haul. Um, please, um, Gypsy in your prayers, Sherry, um, because, you know, this is real life and she shares her real life with us. So I just, she's been in my mind all day and I really hope that she has a fast and easy recovery. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to cry again. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> must be, uh, must be my age. I'm just, God, I don't know what is wrong with me. Anyhow, <laughs> everyone I just want to say thank you to everyone that has been on my channel. I want to say how grateful I am that you guys are here. Please like and subscribe if you're here with me today. Then please do like and subscribe and even share my video with your friends so that others can join as well. Um, let me you think of this haul. I have a huge haul upcoming and I can't believe some of the stuff that I got to buy. It was like a dream come true. I I, I spent like spent hundreds of dollars. So I should have a lot. I spent like almost $400 in my other haul when I went to the store later in the day. So uh, my subscribers from the bottom of my heart, um, please guys, I, I know that, you know, I like to be happy all the time. That's my thing. I really try really hard to be a positive person, but I have hauled mask after mask after mask. And sanitizing product after sanitizing product and I'm doing it because I know that this is real and it's really hitting close to home to me even though you know it just it's scary to me and I just would like to see people be well so you know they're a dollar go out and order some go get one wear a mask stay safe get some disinfectant from Lysol sanitize your hands so please guys thank you for being here like and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to kill me already today, because this has been a very turbulent all over the place video, but I do love you guys for being here. And if you love me for being here too, then join my channel, share with your friends and um, stay safe and stay savvy guys. Bye-bye.